Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to Corpse Gristle Records, we have some blasphemous, brutal, death metal, vile impregnation with slave. I don't like the term blasphemous slam metal. You know, I don't really like that term, but... It's extremely brutal, evil death metal. Corpse Gristle Records and Reality Fade. Wow. Like, it's one of those, like, it, it's so heavy, it's, like, almost funny. Like, just over-the-top brutality. Vile impregnation, slave, full length, just absolute brutality. Nice, easy to read logo. But what vile impregnation do a slave kind of reminds me of another corpse crystal release. But, like, a more slammy Infernal Dominion. That's pretty much what Vile Impregnation is. Like, the vocals are extremely guttural and just fucking sick. Like, it's fun as hell to listen to. Yet, it's also, like pretty evil sounding and just fucking brutal like brutal <laughs> and it seems on this recording at least they were a trio Christian, Jose, and Joe and uh, I just really you know from the moment I heard this I instantly was just like, what the fuck? Like, this is ridiculously heavy. Heavy, brutal, fucking death metal. Like, what else is there to say? Heavy fucking shit. It's funny because, you know, the whole slam thing, if you want to go down that route, it all starts with, you know, the fucking suffocation, effigy of the forgotten, breakdown on Leech. Like, that right there, that's, you know, like the blueprint for, you know, just, I wouldn't say brutal death metal, but like, when it comes to slamming brutal death metal without suffocation, I don't know if it would exist. But also, like, you know, I always hear that internal bleeding influence. But, like, bio impregnation is, you know, kind of the opposite of like a disgorge forensic where it's like bulldozing fucking gore grind it's a little you know it's actually a lot different this is more about brutal crushing if I could do this to your fucking breakdowns then you know you're probably fun to see live 
especially if, you know, if I was like 19 years old and I heard this, I would absolutely love this band. And I, I like Violent Pregnation. I'm just pretty picky with my brutal death metal. And, you know, I have some immortal suffering right here. I'm kind of I'm kind of good, but this is real fucking sick too. Like for a modern release, also I I just I like when brutal death metal is done like well. And I know some of you might be like, but it's never done well, and you're wrong. I'm sorry, but like. I know it's your opinion, but on a long enough timeline, I'm sure there's at least one brutal death metal record you like. I mean, how can you not like fucking Swamp like, by fucking Broken Hope, like, for real? Like, I'm trying to think of, like, like a brutal death metal album, like a classic one that, like, people, you know, are like, oh, fuck that shit. I mean, there's some stuff where people, based on the cover art, like, won't listen to it. And I, like, Waco Jesus, for example, I kind I understand. But sometimes it's like, yo, like, you're really missing out on something I think you'd really like. Especially, like, I remember when uh, Devourment first started, like, getting kind of popular and uh, like molesting the decapitated I, I remember when I got the CD like my friends were like, yeah, like what the fuck like, like the cover art they were like you know really like taken aback by and I was kind of like I didn't think it was that big of a deal but they were like oh dude you're fucking sicko like, like what like who cares it's you know, it's art, whatever. But art is hard. But Violent Impregnation Slave, like I said, this has a really sick, sinister vibe to it. And I fucking dig it for just, you know, having that kind of just blasphemous edge to it. Like, it just, it sounds fucking evil. I kind of wish I had lyrics, but... I'm just, you know, based on some of, like, God Body Disconnect. Like, there's just, I don't know, I guarantee, like, torturous, torturous impurities of the Forsaken. Like, fuck yeah. It's just an awesome title. But, I'm a big, you know, fan of Violent Impregnation. This was a release, like I said... I really didn't know anything about it. I randomly got it from Corpse Crystal along with like some other releases. And I thought I had gone over it, but I mistaken it for Viral Load uh, Mouthwatering Stench. And I apologize for that. It just has not similar at all cosmetics tape-wise, but it has these really gorgeous like tape cosmetics. killing me, so I'm talking kind of silly. <laughs> well, I sound stupid, but look at his artwork. I mean, the logo is fucking sick, like, to begin with, but I really like the cursive handwriting. I think that's a really nice touch. But this, wow. Like, seriously, that's fucking so cool. And again... Corpse Gristle slash Incest Cassettes, and I think, uh, well, Reality Fade in this case, but sometimes, uh, it will also be, um, like, Ossuary, Ossuary Productions, or, um, I forget the other label, but, like, I love the images of horror or mortal suffering tape cosmetics, like, and like the CD version, you get the red cover and shit. Like it's just, it's just sick. But like, look at that. I just think that's cool as fuck. And I even like the immolation like box set. Like, 
hold on. Like, th I just think this, like, because that's just cool as shit. I'm sorry, like, just, you know, like, again, I love when a label gives a fuck. You know, it's not just, like, because there's certain, you know, reissues where it's just, like, what the, like, what is, like, come on, like, you, you, you just, this is an obvious money grab, like, there, there's no, like, love at all put into the release, and to me, that's, you know, part of putting out a reissue, like, the fact that the Gourmet, you know, the vinyl reissue from, uh, it's right, it's right here. I'm sorry, I, I honestly forget the label's name. But, like, compared to the cassette reissue on uh, Repulsive Echo, like, the vinyl sounds great, and that's all that really matters, but I wanted a little bit of background information, especially because this is a reissue. So, I really... And the fact that when I hit up the record label, because I just thought they forgot the insert, they were legitimately like, wait, people care about that stuff? I was like, Chris Dick has like a, um, on the cassette, I think it's like seven page, like, it's like a seven page write up. It takes up one whole side of the J card and the other side's the lyrics. It's that's a gorgeous cassette too. I I wish I would have grabbed it in advance, just to show you. It's just all the way over there, but like transcending records, and uh, like this is one of the best death metal records ever. And I don't know. I just I'm glad I have the cassette version also because. I get that amazing history lesson by Chris Dick. And I don't know why they didn't add that to the vinyl reissue here. And then this got immediately reissued again, I think, by... It might have been Osmosis? But, like, last year this got reissued again. And this is a 2020 reissue. So it's just kind of weird. But I... You know, kind of understand because this, although, like I said, this sounds great, it doesn't have that awesome, like, history lesson by Chris Dick. And I don't know, if you're a fan and, like, let's say you have, like, a first pressing or whatever, like, you know, you want that story. So, getting a reissue, it's kind of pointless, unless that's the point of you getting the reissue, or you need a new copy. Like, yours is just dead, which happens sometimes. Especially if it's a record you're playing, like, you know, time and time again, over decades. But, Vile Impregnation with Slave. I don't know if this has a vinyl release. I'm sure, you know, all you brutal death metal heads, you probably prefer a cassette version. Because I know a lot of people, they prefer, like, more polished sounding death metal on CD. But I think this sounds really good on at least my cassette deck, I don't know if it's just in my head, it just has this fucking just super crushing and real kind of, like I said, like dismal, like dirty sound to it that you only get out of a cassette because you get that little hiss. And that little hiss sometimes adds just that little extra fucking sauce. And... Sometimes that will take you to a whole nother level, and I really feel like Vile Impregnation, especially on this cassette release, tapped into that vein and nailed it with Slave in, like, such a sick way, because 
when it comes to this style of slamming brutal death metal, you know, it's very easy to just sound like every other, you know, like type of band. But no. Violent Impregnation, like, obviously, somebody in this band listens to Blasphyrian and, like, impre uh, Imprecation because, like, there's just parts where it's, like, like, that sounds super fucking sinister and, like, that's something Imprecation would do. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, there's just certain parts where it's, like, whoa. That was fucking cool. Like, I don't know. I get stoked when I hear shit like that. Like, just when I hear something super fucking sick, like this bad boy, it's like, whoa. And thank you to Corpse Gristle Records, because I, this is another one. I would have no idea this band even existed. And it's just a really fun fucking listen. Like, again. I'm pretty picky when it comes to my brutal death metal, but, like, I really enjoy this release. Like, it's just, again, it put a smile on my face just based on how fucking heavy it is. And any time a record can do that, like, you're doing something fucking right. Like, I love when I, like, stop and rewind a part. That's how you know you really fucking killed it. Like, when it's like, oh, did you hear that? And you gotta go back and listen to it again. That's a great, like, that's, seriously, that's a great feeling. Like, I, I, I love when I'm, I'm listening to a record and it's like, what the fuck? Terrifying sample. Punching Christ in the fucking face. Fuck yeah. Like, that's evil, brutal death metal. Like, fuck. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you know Infernal Dominions, because Infernal Dominions, Infernal Dominions, but like, if Infernal Dominion cared about slamming and, you know, hardcore... See, I, I don't know what the... I, like, because I, I, I know Corpse Gristle doesn't really fuck around. And it's mostly, you know, just real brutal death metal heads. It's... You know, but sometimes, like, you start from a hardcore background and just work your way into death metal, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Like, I grew up with hardcore, but I also grew up with death metal side by side. And I got my balls busted constantly, like, constantly for liking death metal as much as I did. Because, like, everybody else was, like, in the, you know, more, like, hardcore and bands like you know like the get up kids and shit like and i you know i i like the get up kids i don't i don't give a fuck but like you know i i never understood like dude how can you listen to mortician like i never said to anybody like dude, how can you listen to you know fucking bell and sebastian or whatever like i always respected 
other people's music tastes unless they listen to new metal. And then I would tell them, like, yo, you're listening to some boof-ass fucking shit. Like, this is whack. I'm sorry, like, that's the one fucking genre of music I don't fuck with. I can't stand that Limp biscuit nonsense. Like, give me something to break. How about you? Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I mean, it's awesome that you brought Scal to play Madison Square Garden. Like, I respect that. But, you know what? In the 90s, you were a fucking dick. And your music sucked. So, I don't care. But, I appreciate... You know, what you did for Cat and everyone in Scal, because that's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I don't care who you are. If a band's asking, hey, do you want to play Madison Square Garden? You're going to fucking say yes, I don't care. You're, like, you can be like, oh, I would never do that. Yeah, you fucking would. Absolutely, you would say yes. Like, it's Madison Square Garden. Fucking Wrestlemania. It's a, it's fucking legendary. So that's some people's like whole goal in life is to make it to Madison Square Garden, especially as a comedian. Like the fucking Dice Man sold out that place. I think he got canceled or some shit like that. But I just know Andrew Dice Clay definitely sold out Madison Square Garden, which is fucking mind boggling. But Violent impregnation, slave, brutal, blasphemous, slamming death metal. On Corpse Crystal Records, in conspiracy with Reality Fade, Killer Cassette Cosmetics, and Amazing Magnetics. But again, just look at that. I don't know who they go to for these, but like... They always get real quality pro tapes. They always look really, really good. Like, it's not, it's not like a sticker. I, I don't know how they do it. It's, it's got to cost them a pretty penny, but I forget what the average cassette price is, but it's like just your average cassette price, I think. But they all, like, are super gnarly and, and shit. Like, almost, I think, like, yeah, like, everything I have, like, even, like, the, the skinless stuff has, like, extra cosmetics, like, uh, real quick, like, the, the, the devourment demo of Impale, it's one of my favorite releases, and I know everybody's got the 7-inch, but, like, it's just fucking sick. Very, cl it's just clean, nice windowless shell, and it's one of my personal favorite demos ever. Number 78 out of 138, Incest Cassettes, which is a sub label of Corpse Crystal. And you know, like these two go together really well, like, they're a good combination if you're looking for a brutal night. I would start off with some devourment and work your way into some vile impregnation or start with some vile impregnation and work your way into some early devourment. Like the demo shit, either 138, molesting the decapitated, or even I would say, uh, what's it called? Butcher the Week. It's like right in front of me. I was like, what the fuck's the name of that one? But, um, you know, you can always also listen to some Flesh Grind. Another semi-similar, like, especially on the demo stuff, like, uh, Holy Pedophile. Just when it comes to the evil, like, blasphemous stuff. And, again, that's kind of what I dig about, like, Vile Impalement. Like, just keeping death metal fucking evil and brutal. Like, I respect that. And Slave, it's a kick-ass release. And it's just 
it's just good. Like, I, you have to hear it. You know, like, I, if you're a fan of brutal death metal, you're gonna probably like it. Like, and if you're a fan of slamming brutal death metal, then meet your new favorite band. Like, seriously. But I definitely saw a kid wearing a Waking the Cadaver t shirt at uh, that um, God is War, Vermin Womb, Mortuous Blood Incantation show. And uh, it looked like a new one, too. And somebody else had, like, a job for a cowboy shirt on. I was just like, wait, did I, like, go through a fucking time warp to 2005 again? Like, what's going on? Like, it was kind of just weird. Like, for real. Like, it was, like, weird. I didn't recognize anybody. Like, I, I Austin from Outer Heaven and... Uh, Tim from Pissgrave, like, legit were the only two people that, like, I recognize. And the chicken dude was there. The guy that wears a chicken suit. I'm sure you've seen him at a show if you live in the tri-state area. I've never talked to that guy, but he he's always at shows, and he's always having a good time. But he wears a chicken suit. Doesn't matter how hot it is, but he's always, he's just always his chicken suit on. But if you're looking for some sick fucking tunes, Violent Pregnation Slave has you covered. Especially if you like your death metal, extremely brutal and slammy. Again, I hate that word. I'm sorry. I just do. I know that's, you know what it's considered but i just it's fucking brutal death metal and it's just done in a slamming fashion but also it's evil sounding and i just fucking dig it definitely check it out and thank you again corpse crystal records and heavy hails to vile impregnation and thank you to the dude that reminded me to go over this because I honestly thought I went over it but I fucked up and that was my mistake and I apologize but as always thanks for watching you fucking rule wish my dog some well wishes he uh, had a little incident earlier just kind of stressing uh, but yeah I have some other stuff going on but uh I don't want to talk about that on here. It's I don't I don't that's nothing really. So uh yeah, thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule, especially if you made it this far in the video. And um I'm going to go back to customizing some stickers for my helmet and go to bed. So, thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. My face hurts. So bad. Hails.